हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप नेम एज प्रोविजन कैम टू सो बेसिकली दिस ऐप इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब विथ यू दैट वॉट इज सुपर प्रोविजन कैम टू ऐप वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शंस then we'll tell you that how you download on your mobile phone and how you install on your mobile phone and after that we'll tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature this video is, to to is totally for a educational and training purpose so we move many steps that are not required to make the camera live so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so basically provision cam app is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is a app for monitoring the cctv cameras on the computer is on the mobile screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet so if at if we are talking about feature and functions then by using this app you are able to access a live view of the camera you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera even you can you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc and you can record the backup of the videos now i will tell you that how you installed on your mobile phone for this you should click on the play store and search for provision cam 2 okay now just click on installed when you click installed it will take a time to completely install on your mobile phone so let the down download to be finished and after that installation process to be start now to start start installing now installation take little time to completely install on your mobile phone once it is installed then start scanning like this okay when it find it is secure then you should find option safe and open enabled just click on open when you do this click accept when you do this so basically this is the interface of the app just click on allow i want to show you that what is the interface of this app so basically this is the interface of the app okay now first thing you should do just click on the left corner here and just click on after that it asks for a login so there is no need for login because uh, i make a video for education and training purpose so i just leave that because that is not mandatory and if you want to create a login just you, you should definitely you should create because after that you all you you get the log that from which user you comes online or you should check the recording okay so just click on the server list here it is okay so this is the of server list option and just click on the three dot from on the right corner just click on this and here you have a several option like add manually scan code to add add local area network and generate device if you are in front of the device and if if someone send you that is qr code it means 
you should click on the scan code to like this okay here you should scan and if you someone said just click on the gallery and here you can select the image according to your need okay so in this way you should click on scan code okay and that that's where you get that scan code so just log in your device and when you log in your device just go to the setting and again just go to the network option and try to find the option NAT when you click on the NAT option just enable it when you enable it you find a QR code so basically this is that QR code you should enter here and just beside that just below that QR code you find the option serial number so just click on now the second option is add manually when you click on this again you find option two option like serial number or IP domain so basically serial number is the number which is used to connect remotely connect a device and again the question arises where you get the serial number so when you when you go to your device means they log in your device log in your DVR NVR and after that you find the option try to find the option setting and again go to the network option and when when you go to the network option you find the option NAT just enable it when you enable it you find a QR code and below that code you find a serial number just enter that serial number and here it device name user and password please note that username and password is of device means device you are adding now I will show you a live view of the uh, camera just click on this and click on IP domain okay because I have a static IP so I should enter my static IP and you should enter your serial code here is my static IP now it asks for a device name so you should put any device name which you usually remember for example you have multiple store store one store two then you should click according to that okay and again click on user and it asks for a username and password please note that username and the password both is of device device you are adding in my case i'm using nvr so i use i just enter the username and password of the nvr and click save now in click save it's it you find that my test device comes online and that and the setting signal turns screen the signal turns screen it means your device online is totally depend on the internet speed at the remote location and your mobile phone okay now first thing you should do you should click on the display button okay when you click on the play button your de device comes online like this okay now the I will tell you one by one uh, many options the first option you find a three dot button if you starting from the bottom right then first option is three but three dot just click on this and if you have a if you want to search your record by using an event or by using AI feature then you should click on this for example if you have a ANPR camera then you should click add license plate you if you have us if you want to search a human then you click on human you want to search a vehicle then you should click on the vehicles if you know if you want to combination then you should click on that so in this way you can check your record by using an AI feature and after that you will find the second option which is a video button okay play button it means that you should click on this okay it, it, it is used to check the recording of the device or the camera I am, I am we are talking about the second option second option is the play button just click on this when you click on this it directly go to lets you to go in the recording mode so if you want if you I want to check the recording on the 17th 19th which is Sunday just click on this and here you find that it is, is, is showing me a, 
um, morning to evening records if i want to check at a 4 am record just click on just just give line to 4 okay now you see that uh, it's show me recording of 4 am sunday morning okay so basically in this way you can check the recording of that of your device now just back it you find the third option which is four square just click on this if you you change the view of the device for example you want to 16 camera view then just click on this okay in this way you can check the all your 16 camera on the on your mobile phone okay now you find option a uh, speaker this is which is the fourth option a speaker option is the option which is used to hear the voice of the camera if your camera is audio enabled just click on this just double click any camera and just click on this when you click on this you find that um, a speaker comes on the screen it means that now you are able to hear the voice of the camera is your camera is voice enabled and the fourth option is the speaker mic button mic button is it is basically used if your device is audio enabled means two-way communication is possible then, you, then this option is for that just click on this here you find again allow once this time you you see the message pop up that doesn't support the intercom it means that my device is not intercom enabled so this won't come okay now you find the option test device and there is a small little arrow just click on this so if you have a multiple device and you want to switch between the device then you should directly do this from here and again just beside you find the option one two three just click on this this in this way you find that if you rename the camera by using uh, by any name and you want to search then you can do by using that option and again you find two arrow when you click on the arrow it means if you have a multiple device and you want to switch then you can do this okay like that okay so cancel it now i you find the many option like when you single touch your screen you find the option screenshot like that and you find if you want to record your videos then just click on this it is start recording okay and when you click a single tap on this you find the option uh, i option like that just click on this here you find the middle definition super definition custom and many more so by using this you can choose whatever definition you want I mean how much clarity you want if you choose high clarity then the speed is slow if you have a lower clarity then the speed is high so keep according to that according to your choice thanks for watching this video thanks you have a nice day